So welcome to this amazing playlist on Python tricks. This is the first video in the series and we are going to start by looking at functions as first class objects in Python. So before we actually begin, let me tell you that I expect you to know the basics in Python. You should be knowing how to write functions. You should be knowing uh, how to write basic programming constructs like if and else conditions and uh, like writing while loops and stuff like that. And if you are already knowing it, then let's begin. So we'll, we'll take a look at functions as first class objects. So what are first class objects? So uh, first class objects are like any other objects in Python. In Python, basically everything is an object. Even if you create an integer, it's an object. So a first class object is an object which can basically be assigned to a variable, which can also be passed as an argument to other functions. It can be returned from other functions and it can also be stored in data structures. So that is what a first class object is and function in Python are first class objects. So in this example, we are basically going to look at how we assign them to a variable and do anything that you can do normally with any other variable, right? So let's let, we are going to understand that gradually. So this is this is just a simple function that I've written. It takes in a name and returns an a string. It returns a string with name embedded in it. So it basically greets that uh, name with hello, and then it says hello that particular name, whatever you are passing. So I'm passing Dhoni, uh, Dhoni. Uh, so it it takes that name and it returns hello Dhoni. So just let me, so that there are no confusions, let me run it for you. So it tells, tells that hello, Dhoni. It, that's what it, we are printing here. But we are not going to stop there. We are going to understand how to assign that particular function to a variable. So let's take a look at this. So greet me was the name of, was the name of this function, right? So let me just take a variable GM and assign greet me to it. So now this GM is now holding the reference to this greet me function. By the way, every object in function in, in Python, basically whatever object you create, the variable that you are assigning that object to holds its reference. What I'm trying to say is greet me here is just a name. It is holding the reference to this function object, right? This is a function and it's actually an object and it is also known as greet me. Basically greet me is a variable that's holding reference to that particular function. So now GM, we, because we have assigned uh, greet me to GM, which means now there are two variables. One is greet me, one is GM that are, that are holding the reference to that particular function object. That particular function object, which is here, right here, right? So now there are two variables that are holding the reference to that function object. And now if I want to print GM, I can simply call it like this. It becomes a function and then I can simply call it. So it prints hello Virat. It's coming from here, right? However, you know, the reference, the reference that I was just talking about, you can delete it using del keyword. That's how we do in Python. So basically, if you want to delete or just remove a variable from a scope, you you use the del keyword, and that's what we are doing. So I'm showing it, it to you that we had this variable that is holding the reference to that function. And we had this greet me variable as well that is holding the reference. Now we delete this reference. So what happens? Now, if you try to access this, you, sh you, you see, right? My linter already started throwing the error that greet me is undefined or it's un unbound, basically. Unbound meaning it has already been deleted. You cannot access it. So, but if we try to access it, let's see what Python interpreter says. So it says that greet me is not defined. That's really normal to use with functions as well. So you can delete a function. Uh, however, because we have deleted the function, this greet me, we still have one variable that is holding the reference to that object. So you should still be able to do this, right? You should be still be able, able to call that function with GM variable and that's okay. So you see, right? It prints hello, Chris, sorry. It prints hello, Chris. So that's perfectly normal and that works. So that's how now you see that now you know that you can assign a function to variables. And next thing that we are going to look at is storing the functions in data structure. So let me comment this out and we are going to move how 
we are going to see this example where we store functions in a data structure. Basically, we are going to store them in a list. So there are two functions that I'm storing. One is like str lower. This is a function and then our original greet me function. So my, mind you that I have commented out where we were deleting this greet me. So it's now it's valid. It's, it's from the global scope here. Now greet me is valid. We can simply use it here. So we have this greet me stored in variable stored in a list. And then we have another uh, function, which is str.2 lower, str lower. Now, what we are going to do is that we, we are going to loop over this uh, list. And then every time we loop over, we are going to call those individual functions and pass some string to it. Some string is like some string, literally literal some string. Uh, it, it has two S that are capital and rest all are small characters, right? Now lower what it does, it, it is going to take a string and convert all the capital letters to small letters and return that to you. So which means when Funks is holding the reference to this particular str.2, str.lower, this should appear as like some string, but both the S that are capital here should appear small. And then Funks is going to point to greet me and we know what greet me does. Greet me is just going to say hello, some something, some string, sorry, hello, some string. So that's what, that's how we expect it to work. So let me just clear it and run this now. And yeah, that's what we expected, right? So the first one was str.lower and it gave me some string with both the s is small. And then there was hello, some string. This is coming from greet me function. Uh, let me also do this so that we know that which function is executing it. So method lower of str objects, and then it is returning me some string. And then this is greet me function. And then it is returning me some string. So with that, I hope you understand how you can store a function in data structure and how you can assign it to a variable and pretty much do anything that you can do with any other variable in Python. And we are going to see you in the next video and see you, take care.